question somebody listening may pay attention to that it could be of help but plus we have some very respectable people here in the studio as our guests who are educating us on that already we are talking to uh, dr jikunu who is the ceo of in city and joining us right now is reverend kusi he is a leader of a church he's a lecturer he's a economist he's a security, um, analyst. security analyst he's, a he's everything put together <laughs> <laughs> joining us today also rev akwaba yeah yeah, yeah. yeah been a while all right, so we'll be talking to Dr. Uh, Jikuno. Uh, okay. We got to the point that uh, we're asking about the first things you do when the couple, after six months, by the way, his definition is that after two couples, oh, sorry, the couple, yeah. it's not two couples, the yeah. couple yeah. haven't lived for six to one year, having sex unprotected, are unable to conceive, then he terms that as infertility. Mm. In your understanding of it, what would you say it is? You see, um, dear, I'd like to say a very good morning to Cherish Voice of HST. And let me say this, you see, the Bible speaking says, for lack of knowledge, my preparation. The reason why people become depressed, people are so stressed with some of this issue, mm -hmm. is that over the years, we've had limited or so sometimes I call it um, the wrong interpretation of scriptures. When I'm doing counsel, for instance, one thing I do most of the time is to let you understand According to the book of Psalm 127, verse 3, children are heritage. The womb, the gift you receive, is a reward from God. Which means um, having children biologically, is, I mean, as it is everybody's dream, it's not something that is automatic. It's in the hands of God. That's the first thing. But quickly, somebody will now take you back to the book of Genesis. I beg God, bless and say we should multiply. Yes. Exactly. That's why I say wrong interpretation of what scriptures. Mm. You see, God is so wise, and the people say, mm. Mm. So the moment you begin to feel you are wiser than God, that's what we are suffering. Most pastors have misled people. They say, I don't know whether you can go to that scripture. Let me show you something. Genesis chapter one. Mm -hmm. You see. <laughs> <laughs> You see, that, that's what, that's, we have issues now because <laughs> those who are even interpreting the Bible for most of them don't even understand the Bible. Genesis mm. chapter 1, eh? Verse 28, that was how God blessed them. Yeah. But you see, because we don't understand the statement there, so today we've put a lot of information. Don't forget, what controls you and the information you have in your head. Exactly. Your mind controls you. Do you know why? Some years back, when somebody is suffering from malaria, they will rush the shrine and go, they feel it at 3D. <laughs> yes, they will go and perform all kinds of wages to because, hey, meanwhile, now knowledge has come in to show us that malaria is so treatable, you can just yeah. test. And if it's, are you getting it? Yeah. So now people are now realizing the way they were now unsure, the way they were just fighting, it's, the, thing, the tension has come down because now new knowledge. Let me, let me read that to you. Now watch it. Says, it now, uh, verse 20. 20. 20 it says, yes. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful now, and multiply. So you see, well, how do you read the Bible to another problem? <laughs> <laughs> Take it. Now, the Bible is saying that. And God created the human yeah, being. God blessed them. Yes. Now, in their response to the blessing, how do you not know that I've been blessed by God? Mm. Okay. He's not going to open it up for you mm -hmm. to see your blessing, how you can demonstrate it. Mm. Okay. So if I meet you, Diego, and I want to know whether you have been blessed by God as couples. Uh -huh. When I'm doing counseling, so as couples, uh -huh. you say we want to enter into marry good. Uh -huh. Your blessings should be demonstrated in this manner. And God is not going to explain. Take your time. The first statement is be fruitful. Uh -huh. Now, pause. Don't go. Don't even jump. You see, we are, we are going to jump to the multiplication aspect. Okay. But the first statement, be fruitful. Unto that fruitfulness has found its perfect work. You can't go to the multiply. The question is, what it does it mean to be fruitful? fruitful. Okay. Before you even answer yeah. that, an average person going to marry, don't even know that. And let me say, they tell me this the moment you get this, eh, it's now settles you that whether children come in or not, you wouldn't feel anxious. Why? The word fruitful in here is a statement of purpose. Okay. You are fruitful when you are living according to what, so for instance, as a presenter. You cannot say you are fruitful. You are, you are being fruitful if you come here. You don't do your work as a presenter. Mm -hmm. The reason this light are needed here, or they they are here for a reason. As when you own it and it's not on it, yes. the next one we pull it down. Yeah. It's not being fruitful. Yeah. So it's a statement of purpose. So before you even think of children or anything, the first statement is be. So the foundation of marriage, the two couples, is that do you even know your own purpose in life? That's the first statement. Too. So once you know your purpose, then the two of you are in to fulfill that purpose. Okay. Now that's where the fruitfulness is a whole teaching. So when you now know the, then you know that multiplication. We've limited it only biological, but it's wrong. Okay. 
to multiply yourself is so just about giving you no know, last i was here and i was teaching about the three roles mm -hmm. that every man and woman should play mm -hmm. and i said every man must be a father yes. the right father is not about you giving birth no mm -hmm. it's an understanding must have that i'm a source uh -huh. watch it i'm a source yeah. So that's why we say our Father in heaven. And the Bible tells you the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 20, uh, verse 14, that as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children. So you can only be a, a, a father when you are a so meaning that if this man be this, now behave or do things like me, I'm his father. How? My ability to impart him, my ability to put my spirit in him. Three years on by home, you know, the knowledge, the information. So I was doing some years before I met him. He was so stingy. He wasn't he was so selfish, but I've been able to correct that mindset. Mm -hmm. And now this man now behaves, do things, and you seem to oh, you be like this man no. Mm -hmm. I've been able to I mean now the source of his life. So being a father is not about who no back that old man. No. So you see, because we are not here, we are not purposeful. Mm -hmm. We don't even know what I like. So the whole concept of being multiplied is that know what you are doing and now put yourself in people that even when you leave this earth there are people who live your life the whole concept so you would have taken my time to go to that's what jesus came to now the whole concept is what jesus came to live how many children did jesus give None. but now watch it he was fruitful mm. he came with a purpose mm. how did he do he now went ahead to what how did he not he put the spirit in people so today everywhere in the world jesus is there mm. meanwhile he never gave birth to one child biologically but jesus is everywhere in this world so in, a, in in summation of all that you said the counseling part is very critical we have a big problem that that's what today an average person becomes so anxious oh so, i mean so stranded when there's no children the point is yes every it's everybody's dream to hold his or her own child mm -hmm. but when you understand the basic principle god has laid down mm -hmm. you can live a life and have you can give it to millions of children not, uh, not biologically Mm. Now, there are people who can tell you they, they never give birth to one child. Yeah. Meanwhile, the way they've trained people mm. today, they have a lot. Mothers, mothers, and fathers, they, when I was born on several stages, I was educating them. Then, when I meet any woman who claims, I am a man, she me, the first I told you that you've never been a mother. But I was even here, I told you, motherhood don't stop when you give birth. Your motherhood is your responsibility towards society. Mm. So, everywhere you go, you must give birth. You must help people. Because that's why as a father, the whole concept of fatherhood, when you discover your source, is that you must learn to protect. So anywhere you go, how many people are you protecting them? You must provide. How are you providing for people? And you must promote. How are you promote? So if I come close to Diego, I should be a father to you. How? Mm -hmm. I should now ask myself, how do I impact you? How do I help you from, to move you from level one to level ten? So yeah, by logic, I'm not giving birth to you, but I can be a father to you. So imagine if these people around you, you will not be stressed, you will not feel depression. But because we've limited the whole concept of, I said, no, about that, I'm a to pan, I'm a woman, you know. Me now, we're there. Now, Daniel, this one. So let me come, come, come back to you. Yeah. In, in his analysis of all that, there's this anxiety that plays a major role sure. in what society also have, as in culturally, mm -hmm. because um, African traditional religion, I studied mm -hmm. religion back in okay. school, he has four stages of life, childbirth, puberty, marriage, and death. So everybody expects there should be some should kids be in there, yeah. uh -huh, and then before your death, and then you go off. That's the society I think. Okay. You calling them, sorry, they coming to you, yeah. and then the first stage they go through is you asking, quizzing them or yes, yes, having, yes. asking questions. questions yeah. When you get to identify the problems with these two, yeah. what is the next thing you do? Mm. So one, uh, after I finish that one, uh, I bring them together. Okay. Mm. Those that need to be disclosed, as I said earlier, you can't disclose everything as mm. a human. Mm -hmm. So those that need to be disclosed, then is disclosed to each other. Sorry, let me take one minute's thought of on his on, on okay. the on the on the speaking about the, your the past disclosing life. thing. Yes. Or he <laughs> thinks that medically, mm -hmm. certain things when uh, you call the man and the woman, you should not be able as he as a medical doctor. He's yes. also a reverend minister, by the way. <laughs> he thinks that it's not advisable to share everything at that mm -hmm. point. In your in your point space as a reverend minister, what do you think about? Yeah, that? so as a counselor, we are also guided by ethics. Okay. And one of the ethics is called ethics of confidentiality. Okay. So whatever information you are picking from people, mm -hmm. you, it's not your job to disclose. But the point is, that one which death is so critical mm -hmm. that you can now counsel the couple, okay. guide him or her, mm -hmm. that look, looking at the situation you find yourself, I think it's better you let your partner know about this. Okay. But it's not every information, like I said, it okay. depends on the situation at hand. Mm -hmm. So for instance, let's say, um, counseling you be about this infertility mm -hmm. issue, mm -hmm. and you have had children or those things around, mm -hmm. I would rather counsel you that look, do we are dealing with this here. 
but maybe at a proper time find a time to I mean, disclose to your partner. But it's not my job as a counselor to so tell your partner, your, or your wife, or your husband, oh, you've done the wrong. Okay. But we are looking for a solution. Yes. Mm -hmm. but so he wants so to get don't the solution. Forget, don't forget the foundation of communication is to build relationship, mm -hmm. not to break it. Yeah. And you see, one thing we should know, at the time when I was coming, I was listening to my brother, he even made a statement. I've been saying this. One problem we have that we don't even understand ourselves, our temperament that I've mentioned about, mm -hmm. the melancholy by nature, they are past oriented people. Mm -hmm. Their mind is set in the past. Yeah. So whatever you tell them today, they don't forget. Mm -hmm. 20, 30 years, they will remember. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately for them, when they remember to, they are mood constrained. So you can be very happy today, doing the, and they can remember, or so on, and I'm die. That state on alone <laughs> can swing the mood. <laughs> <laughs> and she yeah. tell you, I'm yeah. normally in the mood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because they don't forget until you, you are able to take them through some mind training. We call yeah. the love, the mind teaching, some teaching. Yeah. They have a problem here. Okay. That's why an average melancholy has a problem of depression. They yeah. think too much. They are very taught one more training. I did it about you know why yes no one really me. So if you are counseling <laughs> people, you should even know their temperament. That's why there's some information you give to the person, you are rather destroying the person. Yeah. Just yesterday I had a counsel session for a couple. Now well, let me quickly say this. The moment I brought I told them, I don't want any of you to tell me your problem in their marriage. You know why? I discovered that both of them are choleric. And by nature, colleagues don't want their information. Colleagues and melancholy, they don't want their information to go out. Mm -hmm. So you may think I want to tell the cancer about what you're doing to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. You are not building a rather disturbing. Because by the time the cancer leaves, mm -hmm. eh, it will turn out good many months. You think, hey, <laughs> you you have, I was you've come to solve a problem. Yeah. So I told them, don't tell me anything. Yeah, okay. My job, the job I do, the knowledge I have, if I meet you, know your temperament and her temperament, yeah. if you don't talk about problem, I can tell every problem you are having. Yeah. So let it come from me. Mm. But I don't want it to come from you. Yeah. Okay. So, good. So okay. let's continue with you. Yeah. Um, at that point, you get to know the information and everything. What will be the next step? Say, for instance, you find that it's rather the man who is infertile. Mm. Okay, so it's straight that way. We, we would like to check more whether the person has to go to the lab, mm. uh, some tests carry out, okay. and when that one is done, then we treat the man and then that is it. Okay. Mm. That okay. is it. So what, what, is, what is the longest duration you probably have treated a man? Um, let me say this, men are very difficult to treat. <laughs> 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 yes, you are complicated, no, but yeah, yeah, pay hospital, yeah, yeah, when pay it hospital, comes to yeah, health yeah. issues, men can provide money yeah. for wives and children and whoever is close to them, but for themselves, uh, we are the last person who thinks of yeah. maybe health care because mm. uh, you know we have that you know ego thing that oh massa uh, this one uh, he even look at your face and so on and so forth and as you rightly said. Even though you've told him the problem, they say, Oh, Masa, Obana, make crab, you have no SHS crab, not make crab, Masheng. So, so, so those things, but at yeah. least you can be able to, you know, manage the situation, manage the, mm -hmm. uh, the, the ego, and bring the person down. And little okay. by little, uh, within the next six months or three months, you, mm -hmm. you give yourself for the first three months, and then maybe the next six months before you see God willing. Let me add something. Yeah. See, one thing people don't know. Men and women are not the same. I want to just add yeah, sure. to why men <laughs> so, are so perfectly so <laughs> you, you perceive them to be difficult. You see, yeah. when you understand how human beings, our behavior, our we, things that impact our behavior, I've mentioned this here some time ago, the nature and the nature. Mm -hmm. That thing was, uh, it was, I mean, demonstrated in the Garden of Eden. When man was created, the first in his environment, the nature is the environment, mm -hmm. the, how your mindset are shaped, things around you, how they impact you. What a man was introduced to, the first thing was work. Mm -hmm. yeah. So man by nature is a work-oriented person. Mm -hmm. When the woman came in, the woman was introduced to family. The first time the woman came, she saw a man standing, the man had given her sweet two ears. Mm -hmm. That was it. I told you how Adam wedded the wife. Yeah. So the woman was oriented us and I mean I mean I, I mean exposed to family mm -hmm. so a woman is um, I mean uh, uh, primarily a family oriented yeah, person yeah. here's how the problem is that's a woman can do anything to make sure the family survive but a man will do everything to protect his job mm -hmm. a man so when it comes to family matters like the men don't have interest in a job so that he can have a source of revenue. that's what I'm saying that is that is where his energy is yeah. that's what that's where the environment he was put so he was always task oriented when God brought everything and named it so a man always wants to be fruitful by ensuring that mm -hmm. I'm doing the right thing working for that's where a man can leave the family 
to I mean pursue a job. job okay. Meanwhile, a woman can leave the, the, uh, her job Same to job. come and pursue family. Mm -hmm. So I want to do so only because family matters. <laughs> Men don't put much into, uh, information there. Awesome. That's thank the you, point I wanted to that. add. Thank you for that. Yeah. But uh, dog, I want yes. to know from you medically. Yeah. Can an infertile man impregnate a fertile woman? No, can you come again? An Medical. infertile man yes. impregnate a fertile woman. When we say infertile mm -hmm. or uh, of a, a man, there are let me talk about two stages. Okay. We have the first one, which is azospermia. Okay. For that one, unless you seek for medical attention. Okay. But the other one where we have the low sperm and maybe mm -hmm. um, what we call the pelvic inf uh, inflammation diseases mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. For those ones, yes, maybe somehow if the woman is very fertile, of course the man can come. But it's going to take some time, but of course the, 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 the pregnancy will come. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So um, they are cancelled. Probably yes. you get to find out the problem with the man. Yes. And as you mentioned, we men we have issues with treatment. It takes yes. a bit of time. Yes. But unlike the woman, that is easier to. Is it that easy for the woman also? Yeah, for women with m m medications, you know, unfortunately, in where we are sitting, mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I'm in Africa. Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the time, when there's no, you know, children or child, the isn't blame, the woman. yes. <laughs> okay. And as Councillor rightly said. Mm -hmm. The woman wants to make sure that the family is sane, yeah. mm -hmm. and that has become her joy. Mm -hmm. So she does everything to make sure. Because sometimes the 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 man says, "I'm coming." The the man will not come. The woman will come to the hospital. You assess everything. She's all right. And then sometimes you have to, in a way, find a way of inviting the man, or sometimes find some sweet way of meeting him somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know, more making yeah. him understand yeah. that there's a need. Because it's not the problem of the woman. You don't know it's the problem of the woman, but at the end of the day, the solution is, is fine. Where Pr primarily, what causes yeah. infertility yeah. in men, for instance? Let me start from uh, 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 pelvic uh, inflammation, inflammation diseases. Mm. Okay. So we have the all the UTIs that are like the gonorrhea, gonorrhea syphilis, syphilis uh, chlamydia, and all of them. And these days, especially the U, what is coming is the. Um, um, sorry, I've forgotten the English word, but however. Um, uh, yes. masturbation. 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 Okay. It's another great thing. Even wow. people are married, they are still doing it. Really? And it's they an will addiction. tell you that yes, an addition, which is serious these days. So before the person gets to 25, 30. <laughs> no, the thing is, he will tell you that I have premature ejaculation. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, there's a science. One, anybody that does uh, masturbation, uh, if it's within one to three minutes, you can't, when you have uh, natural sex, mm -hmm. you can't go beyond that three minutes. Oh. No. Yes. I chanced upon some Kama Sutra reading okay. that says that when you do it properly, say, especially, it's, it's also correcting the men who can go, let's say, above one minute, two minutes. Okay. So you lie down on your back, mm -hmm. you do that, and when you're about to come, you stop. You do that for continuously, it elongates your period. It was okay. a solution to those solution who are like one minute, two minutes men. How true is that? You know, I always say that most of the writings that we do, especially mm -hmm. we, the medical experts, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. some, yes, I'm going to sound controversial, but I always say it. Some are bought items. I normally call them. How does it mean? Now, there are people who are writing out of a motivation, mm -hmm. either for money, either for religion, okay. either for... Okay coming from a certain quarters yeah, okay. personal gains. to okay. yes for personal gains to be able to you know bring people along with them okay. sometimes even for their own pages okay okay maybe he's doing a blog he has to just put in There's something but subscribe. they don't have correct backings of science or much research to, to be able to make sure that what they are saying is true mm -hmm. because remember that uh, men penis does not have uh, boom Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. so then how did it perform? How did it yeah. stand to perform? Yeah. It means that it comes with nerves and mm -hmm. other yeah. Yeah. I want to know that mm -hmm. is what pushes. Yeah. Okay. And remember that if you have a nurse, mm -hmm. even with this hand, when you always like the nurse, you always twist, twist. Mm -hmm. Before you see, it started paining you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. you are, you'll be experiencing pain. Mm -hmm. yeah. So nerves is not there for you to just go and mm -hmm. touch and. Do you get it? Okay. So I don't I don't believe in, okay. in that. Okay. So, because so these are the things, including masturbation. Yes, masturbation. Yes, yes, masturbation. And, um, yes. Um, yes. yes. And people genet uh, genetically may have an, an a problem as well. Mm -hmm. Those who have heart defects, 
and the BP and mm. some cardio problem and other things. Okay. Yeah, may also learn it. That those also sit for long. And really? with what you are doing, there's radiation with those with the security services, uh, the guns and other things they are carrying. It all carries those kind of radiation, mm. which is going to affect them. So, mm. and also there are some blood group natural they may have problem Problems, with, yeah. uh, 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 which I've said it before. I know some uh, also some other controversy, but blood group Bs mm. for some time may have oh. problem. May have some of them may have problem. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. Is it may have? No, <laughs> Because I have a question for you. Before that, I want to uh, announce that the phone lines will be activated shortly. So you can stand by your phone. And then once they're activated, you can call in 030 77637. But for now, you can start sending your messages, whatever question you have. You can start sending them via the numbers at the right hand side of your screen. We're also active on all our socials YouTube is HSTV GH Live. We're streaming live there, so you can head on to the comment section beneath and leave your thoughts, comments there as well. But, Council, I want to find out for me why married men will masturbate. Well, that one too is another distraction, but let me quickly say this <laughs> some, as he said, some are it's habitual. <laughs> Because some started long before, so even after married, they are, they are not addicted to it. Some too is out of the challenges they are having. Because, you know, I've talked, just talked about the temperament sometime ago. Yes. Melancholy by nature, mm. when it comes to almost all the four temperaments, mm -hmm. they have issues with sex. To them, they oh. see sex, they are expressive. So I tell them they are selfish. It's like, man, I must give it to you. So I mean, I have to give it to you. That's a woman. She says, I have to give it to you. So when you are in no, no, yeah, the melancholy by nature, yes. When it comes to sex, yes, they want to give. That's also, when you don't speak to them right, when, when you don't manage your, it's very difficult for them mm -hmm. to open themselves to you. Okay. So when you don't know your wife well, you're going to have issues with sex because eventually, anytime you need it, because you didn't put in that effort, you are not going to get it. <laughs> so eventually, now push it back. To so yeah, so most men who are married to masturbate uh, to uh, melancholics, uh -huh. they stand a chance to masturbate, yeah, yeah. either to cheat. Uh -huh. So they not, not yeah, it's either yeah, they cheat, yeah. and when the man now free, I can't go out to cheat, then they have to resort to masturbation. Mm -hmm. So those are the things. Of us, more. <laughs> 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 but you see, at the just of you, we were here to also talk about self drives yeah. on our um, on our welcome to program. Right. Yes, okay. the women with like and, her, and uh, Stephanie, for instance, when you check her and there's no hair. Yeah. yeah, it's an evidence that she has low self drive. Oh, so such a woman is a clear etimono. This is all for now. Yes, so if and has a rent on Diego, I'm quite for If you that. should marry, <laughs> if you should marry such a woman, eh, you are going to have problem with sex. So you, have, you have high self drive. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not asking, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie has hey. so you know uh, that maybe no, no, perhaps you have to come here and be the education <laughs> using your uh, fiscal features okay. to determine sexual compatibility. Yeah. Okay. If God is so wise, this knowledge is, uh, is there. You don't know about all these things. You don't, don't need to. You don't need to speak with a woman to even know whether you are compatible or not. Mm. Your mouth, your nose, your ears, your neck, all these things can even show the signs of pepperonis. <laughs> 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 Your fingers, how so I, can, I can look at you and tell you how long or big your body, this body. I can also look at Stephanie, they know the same thing, they know whether she has a big video or small. Yes, you, have, you can look at the person and tell yeah. this is are there. You understand? That's what the and, 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 and is 100% correct. Yes, now the reason the, the moment there's an exception, then it's, it's, it's evident that the, the mind develops fully after 20 years, 20 years and above. So the moment if you are below 20 years, you Sorry. begin to masturbate or engage this in sexual activity when you're reaching orgasm, mm -hmm. it, it puts stress on your hormones. And eventually, yeah. certain part of the body will feel that you are developed. So you don't, it didn't develop anything. Mm -hmm. That's why if a young lady below 20 years gives birth, she cannot be toy again. After I'm moving to the medical aspect yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> because I heard after 21, you, don't yes, actually go to any Yes. Other. So you fully develop after 20. Okay. 20 above. Okay. So below 20, anything you do, essentially, mm -hmm. it not send message. To your body that you are old. Oh, okay. So what? So with this, it is hundred percent. So but when you check and don't, yours is not. It means it's an evidence. Either you and they, you started engaging sexual activities at a younger age, or maybe started masturbating. Mm. So sex in itself tells the body that you are old. Okay. You understand that? So so it's hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, you okay. can check your nose, everything, and tell. Mm. 
So if we come for counseling all this, we can let you know that, look, based on the features here, if you don't know how to do street wears, go on more car team or one of the car no, also crawl crawl now, so maybe yeah. it doesn't matter. That doesn't mean she doesn't have energy for sex. Yeah. Is it most of the those we assume they have no sex that they have energy, but you know to start them. That's what the problem is. There's I said that they want to touch no, now yeah. it's a natural yeah. start them all day, yeah. but them all day. But with them no, also pushing it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. if you know that they have to start yourself in morning yeah. before you leave for work, yeah. before you leave for work, you start to put yeah. some sweet yeah. wears. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want to send it? Oh, I'm missing those yeah. things you to get to prepare the mind. But, Rev, you know, you can't be doing this all the time. That's upset. So, you must check. So, if you know, you, you are high side drive, <laughs> then don't go and tell, tell the woman like Stephanie. You have to issues. Unfortunately, if you have taken already, what do you do? So, then you come for counseling. <laughs> so like, you, yes, you, you come for counseling. <laughs> ah. Yes, we can work as well. Like I said, we can also work on the mind. So the Bible, the Bible now rectifies all the sins. Yeah. That's why the Bible now will tell the woman that look, if you call yourself a wife, the one that you should have, according to First Corinthians chapter seven verse four, is that a wife does not have authority over her own body. So if you should give my phone to Stephanie and I want to take her back, she can't say because you didn't speak nice to me, I won't give it. Then she's a thief. <laughs> you a point? So the Bible now rectifies some yeah. of these things. That's what yeah. I say. The Bible is a manual. Okay. To help us, I'm a religious book. Yeah. Yeah, so, so those things are there. Mm. So many people in marriage to masturbating one because they are addicted or because they are not getting because they are self drives like we be only ten rounds. Me or Baba two. They two. So say eight, you know. These are all the carbon thing, and that's all the crap So those are the <laughs> issues. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I, what what is the what is the rate of your success in terms of achieving, uh, let's say, people who are infertile? And how are we able to manage with them? Has it been very successful at least? So people, couples who have been married two years, three years, four years, five years down the line, they're unable to conceive. Uh, the success rate, has it been good comparatively to, let's say, those that you're not able to help at all? Oh, yes. I may say 90%. Okay. In some, some of the cases, <clears throat> sorry, the, the people that don't even need medication. Oh, really? Yes. Some of the people that come to me... It's just psychological. Just, yes, yes, yes. Really? So there's a woman who was already pregnant before she came. Mm -hmm. So. She came and she was saying, she apparently she was not even the one coming to the hospital. She brought one pe uh, 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 an older person to the hospital. Then we started talking. So after that, then she began talking like other problem that she was having. And then I said, "But you are pregnant." I said, "Never. It's not true." How? What did you see? I said, "Okay, what I saw, I can't tell you. So you don't worry. You come two weeks time to this so so and so lab. Let's do a test when there's no pregnancy." Then we'll, let's see what we'll do. So the two weeks time, she came together with the lady. We did the test, and then she went to the lab. She finished with the test and started laughing. I said, "Where before?" I said, before." <laughs> so, so yes, uh, there are some of the cases that the person you just need to speak to the person and and few things that the person needs to do. Yes. Some also people who need medication, people need serious counseling to be able to arrive at, okay. at, well, at that. You, you mentioned that uh, some of these things. Unfortunately, it's not everybody who will have access to you for counseling before they marry. And so you're able to probably predetermine, even tell by the looks, the, whether they're yeah. sexually compatible and all those things before. Unfortunately, this couple didn't come to you. They married and their sexual drivers and everything is down. They're unable to conceive. When they come to you to seek counseling, for instance, what advice do you give to them? You see, one thing people don't know, the mind is so powerful that it influences us on four levels. Everything we are studying, He's talking about medicine. Mm -hmm. The mind controls the, our medic, med, med, medical issues, yeah. spiritual. That's why there's an issue. So for instance, if somebody is mad right now, as a pastor, we look at it from the spiritual point of view, which is the mind. The mind controls the spiritual mm -hmm. realm. Somebody will be looking at the psychologist will be looking at the psychological aspect. Mm -hmm. the, it's still the mind. mind yeah, a doctor will be looking at the medical aspect. It's still the mind. Mm -hmm. Sociologists will be looking at the social, sociological factor that imparted in life, right? That's still the mind. Mm -hmm. So the mind is so powerful that every solution, that's why when somebody is not having boost, they will come sleep, they will come to the hospital, they give medicine, whatever it is, it's just drawing some chemicals from the brain mm. at least to help you to sleep. Yeah. When, you do have, when somebody is taking drugs, you are dropping the dopamine to feel good about it. Everything is about the brain. Yeah. Are you getting it? Yeah. So you need to now understand that everything we are doing on this earth, the foundation is to, to impart the mind to work. You know, before I come to even here, and like, he, he, he made the statement that some don't even need meditation. Like, well, I think you're sure. Yes, there are some because of anxiety. Do you know why right now, if a, 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 let's say a tiger or a lion should enter here, 
you may even jump and by the time you are holding this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. thing yeah. will rise. Yeah. Yeah. The thing you couldn't do normal mm -hmm. in a normal way, you end up doing it. Mm -hmm. How? Some hormones has just risen up and you can do th things beyond your thing. The same thing. So that's only time God comes around you or angel of God can tell the first thing tells you, don't be afraid. The first thing that's to relax you. Many people are looking for children, but they're so anxious about it. Mm -hmm. Your hormones are always activated. And it will, you can never get the child, not because you are infertile or because you need medication, but your mind is not stable. Mm -hmm. I was just counseling a lady who is, she has a child, but she's not looking for another one because the first one is older. Mm -hmm. I told her, you're a Christian, you believe in prayers, but I can assure you, your prayers are not being answered by those. I say yes. The moment you pray from the perspective of fear, <coughs> from the anger of fear, mm -hmm. you've already defeated your prayer. Because there are two spirits. How do you pray from? So I'm coming. Yeah. There are two spirits that initiate everything. Mm -hmm. To initiate any spirit of God to work in your life in the spirit of faith. To allow the devil to work in your life in the spirit of fear. Okay. So the moment you, you, you so for instance, you're looking at your age and like, hey, I'm not 39 you by 40, I may be entering to my menopause, you've initiated fear. Mm -hmm. Any prayer you pray at that moment for child, you won't get it. Hmm. I don't know if you're getting it. Until, yeah, until Any prayer, yeah, because hmm. you are praying out of fear. Hmm. You are afraid that by 40 years, hmm. forgetting that we are serving a God who has the power to call somebody who is in the future to give birth. Hmm. So until you start, you allow the word of God to say to you and know that, look, I don't care my age. I believe by the power of God I'm going to give birth. The moment you are able to now settle yourself, and be, be at peace with yourself and believe in God. You've initiated the spirit of God to work in you. So there are many people who are even praying for children. They can't get them God. They are praying up from the perspective of fear. Mm. God look, look at the, the woman's age, looking at sometimes the, 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 this in the family. Mm -hmm. My mother couldn't do this. Yeah. Me too, I couldn't. Yeah. So my father, therefore I'm afraid. I may not ask. The moment that word, I am afraid, comes in. Mm -hmm. You've destroyed your prayer. Yes. But history says we learn from the past to correct the future. So you might have known that maybe you have a defect in your family in respect to having kids. So um, having that knowledge is also very key. So you have that knowledge already. It's in your head. You should have it so that you know how to pray about it. But you can't detach that knowledge from the prayer. So what I'm saying, I look at my father, for <clears throat> instance, and at the, maybe at his age, he couldn't build a house, right? That's the knowledge of a crowd, looking up where he's coming. Okay. That rather should not settle me to know that, okay, I am in God. Therefore, with God on my side, I am going to do this. Okay. It, shouldn't, it should not motivate me to, like I said, like I out of fear. Hey, okay. if I don't work hard and I go to the age of one, the woman you become anxious. That is to be anxious for nothing. Mm -hmm. That's the word. Mm -hmm. Anxiety will always move you to that level where you are... You, you are afraid, you don't know what the t tomorrow holds for you. We may not know what tomorrow holds, but our God knows tomorrow. That's a, so for instance, if you're right, I should call you, dear God, Lord, let's go to Akamo. I'm the one taking you. And you believe in me that I have money. We will not be concerned about whether the parents don't have money, whether you know the person you are working with. Therefore, you will be certain to know that since this month, I should go with him. I shouldn't be afraid. When you know the God you are going with, the reason that most of us, we talk about faith, it's another teaching, we talk about faith, and that's why we don't even have faith in God. Mm -hmm. We allow our family issues, our past, our things we know, and detect our space and the things we do. So to you, you may that. think you are praying, but to God you are not praying to him. But the way you allow fear, like I said, your motivation comes out of fear, you push God out. God, you, should, you see, you should trust him. That this is the God I'm serving. See, the thing we have in the Bible, the kind of stories we have, this person grew to 17 years, 19 years. I tell people, you don't need to even look at it. There are people right now are certain. Mm -hmm. the, Recently, the woman, a 65 years old, um, gave birth at uh, Ledma. That's it. Like, Lekma, right? I think yeah. So, yes. I mean, those things are. You understand? So, the point is this some people, I know some people who, where the woman even was turned. Mm -hmm. Because of some kind of sickness yeah. and things. Yeah. She never thought she could give birth to the church. Mm -hmm. That should tell you. say, I'm speaking for, as a pastor here. Mm -hmm. And you get to me. So whenever and they say we can't change it, the spirit controls the physical. Mm -hmm. That's why the adults, even when they not tell it to you and they realize that the, all the knowledge has been adjusted, mm -hmm. they not tell Madam, let's pray. But so for when we say sometimes the person knows, for instance, maybe a woman, she knows that she's committed about four or five abortions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then she's now married mm -hmm. and she knows that probably this is the reason why I'm here. And what try her, the kids are not coming. Mm -hmm. Is it not that is a punishment from God or something like that? That's that's the reason why she's unable to have. It still come out to the same thing. Yes, you know your past, like I said. But what does the Bible say? If anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. Nice. This is a person. <laughs> now, is, let, let me say this. Let me even help you here. That's what the Bible is so religious to say, Manwa. If a manufacturer is so wise enough 
that whenever he produces something, he now produces parts, spare parts, that whenever something now is desperate, you can replace it. Mm -hmm. Then I want to announce to you, God is so wiser than any manufacturer you can think of. Mm -hmm. Everybody on this earth has passed uh, spare parts for you. That's why you have, sometimes you keep hearing some of these testimonies mm -hmm. that some this one said, my womb was turned. According to medical records, yeah, she was yeah. not able to give birth, yeah. but she has given birth. That one, that, that, that's why you cannot look at this one, this can only be God. Yeah. That one, this one makes him God, though. Mm -hmm. To let you know, this one, they are without any way, you know this one, it can only yeah. be God. Yeah. So your situation should not put you at that level that look, Minya Sanso, Reverend Michael said, was late yesterday. Minya Sanso, they are in here. But you mean the people that are wrong, ma? Well, Mama Tiasa said, "Where do you play in America? This can only be God. I have the records to prove I can't, but I believe that the God that I know, the one who created me, who has purpose, He has the ability to change me. You'll be surprised. You give birth, and indeed, the girl will go to. But you see, when it gets to that stage, that's why you have people who even, who never commit abortion, who have uh, virgin before they marry, they also struggle with. So, when it comes to God, the children are heritage from the. It, it's a gift that He gives. They are basic things we don't know. So we are fighting ourselves, and we are, some, some of us are be fighting God. You can't fight God. You should rather settle yourself and tell yourself, I believe you. So on that note, would you say that an infertility should not be a deal breaker or a ground for divorce? That's what I'm saying that it means when you understand the whole concept of marriage. God never spoke about marriage, the whole matriarchy issue until he spoke about, food, about fruitfulness. Yeah. That's what I was talking. So you can't even think of marrying somebody in the first place until you're fruitful yourself. So the top two of us are coming with that purpose to do something. So you understand, children rather we give them biologically or we yeah. adopt them, not adoption like that, right? by train, having people to train, yeah. we are still having children around. Yeah. It settles all this, <laughs> all this um, <laughs> issue. But you see, we have issues with, like you said, culture and other things. Yeah. I come from this family and, yeah. you know, even we don't know some people, I have four girls. And the people talk to them. Pastor, well, I could have about them. Now, watch, watch, watch. <laughs> yes, some church members who come to me and say, Pastor, yeah, one person will have them. I'm saying, stop that nonsense. I have never prayed for a boy. Watch it. Okay. My understanding is that children are heritage. Yeah. One thing I pray that Lord help me to give birth. Mm -hmm. I've given birth. Yeah. I can't question whether there is a male or a female. Mm -hmm. I don't have that right. No, why? Mm -hmm. My job is to train these children mm -hmm. to be whatever they need to be. True. My ch children will come, the girls. They play the church instrument. I know you're seven. The first one was playing the keyboard for the church. Nice. One played the drum. Oh, the girls, they do everything in the church. Yeah. I that's it. And even though I tell them, whatever I'm training here, it's not your purpose in life. Mm -hmm. This one, because we have the access to learn, yeah. learn them. <laughs> but you have, you have, your job is to help your children to discover themselves. Yeah. That's another thing. That because problem? this way we live in, you must have a job and a work. Mm. Sure. Your work is your purpose. Mm -hmm. Things you do for humanity that you don't look for money, you don't ask to pay. Your job is your skill you acquire. So as a daughter, you are working for money. Every human being must have a job and a work. That's another teaching altogether. So the reason why we are frustrated is that we are work, work only doing our jobs. And job will always make frustrated because the moment you are down being paid thousands this year and you hear that they are paying 10,000 here, you quickly rush there. The day you hear that they are paying 15,000, you rush there. So we are always chasing. But no what settles to go with word, according to First Peter chapter 4, verse 10, says, Every gift I have placed in you, your duty is to use it to impart people. Mm. So, work, you don't do it for because of money. There are some who have turned their work to money, and that's another thing. But if, when you have your work, you ask yourself, right, now, what am I doing for humanity? We are sitting here. I know they are not taking money from me. It's part of our work. Yeah. To use the knowledge we have to impart society. Okay. Until you have this both job and work, and until you are not even complete. So, there are some knowledge we need to have. To the people are frustrated because job can never make you satisfied. That's why no matter amount, 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 amount of money you receive in your life, you're always fighting to get more. You bought your first car, the next moment you think, oh, I can get a better one than this. You build your first car, you're thinking, I can build a better one. Material things don't make us satisfied. Yeah. What makes you satisfied in life is to identify why on what God has placed in you and your ability to now use it to more impart people, I can tell you, you'll be more satisfied right. than having your own tricks. There's this part where people go to the medicals, they seek all the necessary, even travel to India, other places <laughs> just to seek medical help mm -hmm. to be able to give birth. They're unable to do that. They come to pastors like you, pray with them. And then, yeah, I like the part you mentioned the prayer of fear, prayer of faith. Okay. Why you pray the prayer of faith, and then all of a sudden they're able to conceive? What was exactly the problem was? Yes, it, because they didn't pray well. They were anxious. <laughs> then when you become anxious, you have a lot of fear to enter you. The anxiety was pushing. What did they say? But on comfort you had. Look at the compulsion people are drinking. Yeah. These women should come to you and tell you. Some are even sleeping with this herbalist. I'm telling you. 
Would you say Anna's prayer in the Bible was out of fear or? I, I, I like this state. I was even preaching about it just last Sunday at CFCC. Mm. Now watch it. Look at it. You can read it from First Samuel chapter one verse ten. You know, Anna, Anna prayed for years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Bible speaking said until she got to this state that she changed her prayer. It came back even to confirm all that I've said right now. And Hannah now decided to change her prayer. What did she say? That if Lord, you look at my affliction. You look at what your maid servant uh, maid is going through, and you give me a male child, I will give him back to you. I tell you, that did the trick. That look, I'm not seeking this child for myself. I'm not looking, the, I'm seeking this child because my, 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 my rival my, is my, doing this. Yeah. That was all that was happening. Oh, no, man, no, 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 our lie yeah. is not for us. Yeah. Even your children, like you are they are not for you. you. Yes, they, you are to go to get them, train them yeah. for humanity. That's why if you don't get them biologically, you can still get yeah. children yeah. and train them for humanity. Now, read it. First Samuel chapter 1 verse 10. Okay, chapter 1 verse 10. Yes. Okay. And it says... Um, How not change the prayer? Yeah. And that did the trick. That same year, she comes And it. she was in bitterness of soul. Uh -huh. And prayed to the Lord. Uh -huh. And wept in anguish. Uh -huh. Then... She made a vow and said, What did you do? She made a vow. To who? To God. Said, Get yeah. it right. That exactly. anything I'm going to do, no, this is what we live. We don't live for ourselves. We live for God. So now she said, She made a vow. Mm -hmm. Now look at the vow. Said, oh Lord of hosts, mm -hmm. if you will indeed look on the affliction of your maid servant mm -hmm. and remember me mm -hmm. and not forget your maid servant, mm -hmm. but will give your maid servant a male child. Now, Paul, a male child. Yeah. Anybody, this is the reason people are not even getting children is that we are looking for children for ourselves. I'm saying, let's get it right. Children are a gift from God. You should always know the source. So whatever you are receiving from God, are you, do you have the intention to give that thing back to God? That's what today we can even go check and leave our children in the house. Yeah. Another person don't even, we think, hey, hey, I'm a bat. Man, I'm going to die. I'm going to go, hey. Mm. <laughs> that, and now God, the, 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 the mystery. Mm. So look, if you give me this nature, what will happen to this child? Then I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life. I pray anybody watching us having this issue of infertility mm. should get to this level. Mm. Uh, you don't lose children for ourselves. The day, you, uh, because where I come from, you dear, dear, and you know, I need a male child. That's why you people even get married to other women just to get, get a male child. Mm. Children are heritage. Mm. There, there are deep mysteries in the Bible. Do you know that the, the Ezekiel, that king who now prayed for God that Lord, and I prophesied, I went to you and said, Look, you are going to die. And he now requested, Lord, I want to. I mean, look at me and do it. And God did 15 years. He's a care, you mean? Yeah. That, he, he child, that child that he gave birth to in the, within that 15 years mm -hmm. became one of the worst leaders in Israel. Why did that happen? Uh -huh. So go back and check. So you see where the problem is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. God knew that, look, your days, your purpose has been fulfilled. That's why Jesus hand on the cross and said, it is finished. Mm -hmm. Paul now came back and said, I've run the race. I've mm -hmm. fought. You see, our life on this earth should be led, led purposefully. You should know why you're on this earth. Thank you. That is where we need to uh, get to. <laughs> let's go through some WhatsApp messages that I have here. This one is to you, Doc. Okay. It says, good morning. Uh, I turned 38 years this May. I've been in a relationship for 16 years without a child. Okay. I have pains on the left side of my testis for more than 14 years. I was diagnosed of varicose soul just two weeks ago. Is it advisable to go for surgery? I think there's a health condition that has to do with the enlargement of the veins around the testicles. Yes. So he's I asking think... if he has to go for surgery. Yeah, the, the, the surgery is one, but if he comes to alternative also, that one can be treated and you'll be fine. Because with surgery, yes, there are other, the doctors will tell you whether it's 50-50 or 50-40 okay. or 30-70. Okay. Uh -huh. So okay. if you want to go for surgery, that is, that's fine. But he can also live for alternative, which will also solve the problem. Was that correct? Yes, 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 yes sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. sure. And this one says that, how can a woman know she's infertile? As we said, the fertility, mm -hmm. you must stay with a man unprotected sex for six months. Okay. And if there's no baby or there's mm -hmm. no pregnancy showing up, it mm -hmm. means that you may have a problem with. But here is the case, whether that person is also committed to you, because there are many things that comes alongside with it. So if you stayed with a man or married to a man, who we are here, and you are here, sometimes the anxiety alone will not, make, will not mm -hmm. give you that pregnancy that you want. Mm -hmm. But if somebody that everybody knows that you are with, whether married or whichever, married is only about they don't do. Let's also know that <laughs> it must have, it's about four, two parents oh, coming together, even if it's one, one yeah. coming together to accept that, okay, yeah. this daughter is given to this man, whatever. That is it. That's what it's all about. And then from there, you know that 
uh, you know, pro uh, what's the name? Fertility issues starts, whether you become pregnant or not. If that one happened within six months, and I mean, you stay together for six months, there's no uh, pregnancy, then it means that it's term infertile. Okay. Yes. But I want to find out from you, in yeah. encountering the challenge in fertility, is yeah. it advisable to, you know, discuss that with families as well? I don't think so, because I believe that if, especially married people, mm -hmm. uh, no, if they don't need to discuss it, they will see it because they don't see any child with you. So <laughs> of course, they will see obvious. it. But, but having said that, the, the most of the problem and the pressures, especially uh, women face, yeah. comes from the family. Yes. You know, um, as you rightly said, this is. Um, unye, unye. Uh, and apart from that, Masa, yeah, if you are in few, you, you have yeah. banana, yeah. 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 and with all these pressures, uh, as for our house, even. Or you saw by Hukra, or by to me, or yet me the same brain. I don't know. So yes, yes, it's there. So because of the pressure, so I don't believe that you have to discard that with okay. a family member. Okay. But seek help, seek help. You know the husband and the wife to sit together. That mm -hmm. if what we want, we don't get it. So let's seek help, especially from the medical side. So when med medicine and everything is set, the simple way can be done. Those anxiety and everything can be worked on, and then a child can be given, okay. which I don't think is much of the problem because you discuss it some of the time. What they will tell you is that, Oh, it's the other day. As for your grandfather, he did something, so let's go to this person mm -hmm. before you see. As he really said, some of the things that women are going through, uh, some of the doting, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, some of the concussion, and some of unnecessary fasting from our, 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 our brothers from. Um, <laughs> religious side mm -hmm. and some of the you know telesma they have to put on their waist and some of the bead they need to put unnecessary things some of the makeups you know these are things that they must go and you know get from whichever to whichever and at the end of the day family will be still directing okay then if you are papa no one yet into the only away from the so the other send the jeans and the jeans and the child will come all right but yet you yourself will not see so when you're on your death row on your your death bed before he be confessing that this child is not for him and this child is not for uh, so that is where the problem so okay. seek for medical attention these days there are many ways you can get you can give birth okay there are many ways okay at this point i want to activate the phone line zero three zero two seven seven six three seven nine call us you are discussing dealing with infertility in marriage so the phone lines are activated so you can call in and whatever question you have reverend and dog will tackle that for you rev i want to find out from you so once a couple decide to go out for adoption do you need to discuss with families you see on um, the whole issue of i wanted to ask something that even for a woman to suffer this abuse whenever there's child, uh, childlessness in your marriage, it's an evident that the man you're married to is not a husband. And I told you the three rules. Yeah. Yes, you see, when you have a husband, check your truth of the Bible. He's when a you talk, protector. No, no, you, you open to Ephesians chapter 5. <laughs> there we go. Ephesians chapter 5. <laughs> Let's look at who a husband is. So there are many women who are married to men. Yeah. That man can be a father. See, most of the things we do in the house, Stem from our fatherhood. Okay. We are providing, buying okay. things for the family, taking care of the children, paying their fees, looking after our children. That is a fatherly role. It's not a husband role. You can only be called a husband when you have an understanding that you have an exclusive duty. So there are some specific things you must do for your wife. That qualifies you to be a father. Let's look at them. It is our plan here. Ephesians 5, read from verse 22. 22. Okay. No, verse, I think verse 25. 25, right? Yeah. Okay. So. Husband. So now, if you're not a husband, you can pass. <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about husbands here. And two, if you're not doing this, then don't call yourself a husband. <laughs> it takes only those who have this understanding okay. to call them. So there are many men who are married. You don't marry to become a husband. Okay. You should be a husband before you marry. You should have, you should have this understanding before you pick somebody's daughter and say, I want to marry you. <laughs> so now, who is a husband here? It's husbands. Husbands, love your wives, mm -hmm. just as Christ also loved the church. The day you understand this, you need that and up ask for forgiveness. You know why? If God has now ended that love your wife, just like that, you don't have a problem. Because you can love, choose to love anyhow. But it not goes through a marking scheme. You can only say that you are qualified when you are loving your wife, just as Christ yeah. loved. loved. So the first question, how did Christ love the church? <laughs> While we are yet sinners, yes. while the church was charged, uh, yeah. charged while the child was committed adultery, while the child was doing all kinds of things, so Christ decided to show his love. 
So it means you get to that point that regardless of what my wife is going through, I have a duty to love her. So the moment you cannot stand up and say all kinds of things against your wife, you have moved from that rule as a husband. Now continue, there's another point here. Okay. So you don't, you don't love your wife just the way you like, you love her just as Christ loved her. Look at the next point. And give himself. And you should be willing to give yourself, which means every insult and abuse, you are willing and ready to abduct, uh, absorb them. The moment you allow this abuse to go to your wife, you, have refused, you, you are not a husband. Mm -hmm. Some men can even go and tell people about their wife, discharge their wife, their family mm -hmm. member, and I mean, you know, they you, you are a stupid husband, you are not a husband. <laughs> According to the Bible. I do, bro, I do, bro. I, do, bro. <laughs> I get to that point. So, you see, there are people parading themselves, <laughs> and I'm like, who told you, yes, you are married, but you are not a husband. We are talking about husbands <laughs> here. Yeah. Yeah. That's why, you see, I'm very passionate about culture has made most, most men so irresponsible. They assume that just yeah. because I'm able to pay your bride price, price, then no! It takes yeah, maturity yeah. to become a husband. So you should be able to defend, protect, absorb all. So you, if you are a man watching us and you allow people to ridicule your wife, abuse your wife, I'm sorry to tell you, you're not a husband. You should be ashamed of yourself. Now look at the next point. And he might sanctify and cleanse uh, her. The day I saw this, I just thought, oh, can you imagine? The Bible speaking said, that anyone who is hurt, who have taken by rules, so I should don't need to be uh, right? Yeah. So if God brought this time, the woman I'm giving to you, you should have the ability to sanctify her. Cleanse and cleanse her. That trust the woman is not complete. So it's your duty as a mm. to do this. Mm. Which means your wife is a report card of you. So if you are complaining about your wife, you are telling how stupid you are. According to the Bible, you should have the ability <laughs> to yeah. cleanse, yeah. to sanctify, yeah. and you are not telling how dirty your wife is. Yeah. It's, she's a report card of you. So you are rather telling us who you are. Now look at the next point. Uh, cleanse her with the washing of water by the word. So you don't, so you don't change the woman just by insulting her. You change her by what the word of God. Look at the final point. That that's what the point I want. That he might present her to himself. So you need to present your wife. Church. So how any way you are discussing your wife, that's how you are presenting. And she's like mm -hmm. I said, she's a report card mm -hmm. of you. So there are many useless husbands nowadays. <laughs> I have my first call on the line. Hello, good morning, Aliza. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Hi, where are you calling us from, please? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello, please, good morning. Good morning, please go ahead. Um, please, um, sorry, but I, will, I, I actually called to talk to your uh, marketing manager. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay you, please you, speak <laughs> to our producer, okay? <laughs> speak to our producer on that. <coughs> All right. Um, the phone lines are still active, by the way, in case you want to call and join the conversation uh, about what you're talking about, infertility in marriage, and you want to share your experiences also with us and how you're able to go through that and be successful at it, please give us a call right now. The phone lines are active. Alternatively, you can join us on our WhatsApp line, which is on your screen. Just pick it up and send your messages to us, and then we'll be able to do that. Um, um, let me engage you now. Yeah. So, people who come to you often seek the help for uh, changing the other fertility problems yeah. and then probably they leave you unfortunately you weren't able to help yeah. they get the help from the pastor okay. do they come back to you and tell you anything like oh no or how do you feel as, okay, as a okay, okay, medical now, practitioner okay uh, regarding health issues um it could like there and here here and there it happens all the time okay. people go to um, ministers i mean reverend ministers or pastors or even malams and it doesn't work and they come to us mm -hmm. people also from us go there so it's not an issue okay. the, now the thing is uh depending on the person's psyche to understand that what he or she is in for uh, there's a process the person must go through mm -hmm. there are some who are not ready due to some other circumstances that are in the situation they will not be ready to even do you tell them they say yes i've heard you and yes, I will do it. But he goes out there and do different things. Even the medication you give, the advice you give, he may not even follow. Okay. At the end of the day, he may not get the results. Okay. All right. So when it so happens, okay. you don't have any other choice than to move. Other. Okay. Sometimes, when I, even as a couple, when I begin to see signs that you may not listen to what I said, mm -hmm. then I say, okay, can you, if you have, if you go to church or whatever, whether you are in the mosque, just go to one of your heads, speak to him, and mm -hmm. maybe he will get you much. To understand the intensity of what you are going through, and then you look for the solution. Awesome. So, Definitely. whichever, whether back and forth, it's, it's all good. Okay. We I think we have solution. a call on the line. Okay. Andrew is on the line. Good morning, Andrew. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Unfortunately, we lost, we lost Andrew. And I have few WhatsApp right. messages here. Okay, says that sure. I'm watching the program and I have the same problem. Um, can you text us and tell us the problem? Then, then our guests will answer that. This person says that, Lord bless you people for educating us. Political issues are taunting us. They don't also tell us the whole truth. Thank God for this program. At least it will save lives and marriages. Thank you as well. And keep sticking and staying with us here on Healthy Morning. Okay. okay All right. So um, let, me, let me come back to Rev. Um, so after all these the couple are unable to give breath uh, probably they've gone to dr jikunu several times and able to help and then they come to you pray for them they have the child is there an extra counseling after that yeah that's what i'm saying so in, what, what would that come, help for counseling in general counseling is like acquiring knowledge we don't i mean you see the email are you getting it? That's one people should know. There are people who assume that counseling, like marriage, marital counseling should just be done before them. No. I always tell people, even in my counseling, I, will, I recommend post-marital post counseling more. Cross, cross. Most of the before you come, you're already anxious, you're very passionate about yourself. So most of the things we tell, we tell you, you may not even absorb them. When you now enter, after six months and things that begin to eat you, mm -hmm. you now begin to remember. So as there to me some time ago said, life is lit forward, but understood backwards. Mm -hmm. Most of the things we tell you, you know, may understand, but as you are moving forward, mm -hmm. you will ah, okay. okay. So, yes, when you come for counseling after the child, like I said, to help to settle, you help you to now mm -hmm. pray with that understanding. And, and no, let's also say this sometimes we even, as if you're a good my, um, pastor, you should understand, like I said, we operate in different levels. So, as much as I'm doing the first class, a spiritual thing, I should encourage the person. That is why I'm a great pastor who can keep people with certain sickness in their churches. I'm praying for you. Okay, Rev, we'll come to that. Let me go to also and then speak with yeah, right. uh, Andrew. Good morning, Andrew. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Andrew. Please go ahead. Uh -huh. Please, I'm calling from Oshu. Okay. Uh -huh. I was the one who tested the diagnosis of Mary Cushel. Okay. Uh, and I wanted to ask, the doctor said you could have uh, other options other than the surgery. And I wanted to ask the duration in which one can be cured. Can it take more than three months to six months without the surgery? That's okay. what I wanted to ask. And okay, again, I want to know the exact place that I can locate the doctor. Okay, right. So he's asking about the alternative, this yes, is you mentioned the, the process, surgery, and the duration, is it yes. three months? Is How it? long it can take? Okay, the no. thing is one, I don't know the state of what you are talking about. Of course, I know the disease you are talking about, but we have in various stages. So after the show, let's talk, and then I'm, I'm sure we can be able to to help you. Of course, as I said earlier, uh, you can. That is surgery is one decision. There are alternative of solving the same problem, which I believe I can help with. So okay. after, after um, the, then we can we yeah. can talk. So maybe Andrew, want to leave your line, your number or contact uh, with our producer so that. You can get back to you after the show. Okay, okay this message is to you where it says that is it the responsibility of the church to choose a spouse or the biological parents? To choose who? A spouse. Is it the see, responsibility of the church? I, 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 we, we did this education that even yes. with Adam, God never chose a wife yeah. for Adam. Mm. From the beginning of life till now, God has never chosen a wife. So it is wrong for any church to okay. choose we can and guide and 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 you see so no. it's like my hands, my but it myself. confirms <laughs> it, it confirms it confirms the bible yeah. but the bible never said for lack of prayers or lack of paying time and people yeah. pray, for lack of knowledge yeah. my people my people are yeah. those of us call ourselves the church <laughs> we, we are destroying people because we lack knowledge <laughs> even adam god did not choose a wife for adam. so therefore don't choose a spouse or a wife or anybody but rather yeah. you can guide that's our job. Okay. Even in marriage, do you know in Ghana here we don't have church marriage? Do you know? Oh, really? Let's marriage that we have. Hold on, 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 yeah, I said I tested earlier. I also have the same problem. My method of 2011 and up to now. Actually, I have a girlfriend. By some time, when um, I'm with my girlfriend, I feel like um, the sound is a bit muffled. Yeah, I have the same thing. So I tried this several years, and I'm trying to stay away from it, and I don't know how to. Come here, could you could you reposition yourself? We are struggling to hear what you're saying. Like, 
Um, I mean, you didn't get me right. Yes, can you okay. come again? Yes, I said I I ended today's masturbation to since 2011 mm -hmm. up to date, and it's not like I don't have girlfriend. I have girlfriend, but I, I feel like have doing the masturbation that I haven't expected with my girlfriend. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. 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 Thank you. I think we, we heard you. So, uh, yeah. So I think uh, to is it Michael? It's a Kobe, right? Kobe. Kobe. Yeah, Kobe. 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 I think it's a it's a medical problem, and also maybe if you have a, uh, I don't know whether you you have that hard to be able to discuss with your with, with your pastor. But what I would say is that it's a medical problem now, and also one, the reason is because you have a girlfriend. Girlfriend is not a legit, so you can't have her the way you want. But if you think you are of age, please. Just go to the house, did an announcement, let them know you and you, as I said. Any small thing or whatever simple thing can be so that the parents will know you. That will, that, that will make you, you know, mind, you know, settle that this is somebody I'm moving with. So that if anything happens. Now, the reason why you are doing masturbation, isn't it masturbation she's talking about? No. Mm -hmm. Is it masturbation? Yeah, masturbation. Yes, so it's yes. already from 2011 to yeah. date. That's 11 years. Uh, yes, so it means you can't stop. You need somebody to help you. Medically, you need somebody to, and I think psychologically also, you need somebody to be able to help you. You can't do it. If you don't even take care, you get married and you still continue. That would be a disaster that you can ever imagine, that you're in marriage. I know pastor will continue, but you're yeah. in marriage and you're still, <laughs> man, that's another disaster. Because if you don't take it, you do it the day you die. And the time will even come that Kafra will cut in Abu. Oh. That is straight away. Yes. It that's will. what will happen. So I cut you off. We are about to yeah, say so that. I was saying that. Be... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in yeah. Ghana, when you check, we have just three marriage work organized. Mm -hmm. So you have the my, my customer marriage, yeah. Mohammedan marriage, and ordinance. Okay. We so don't have church. church we don't have church marriage. <laughs> so what the church? Has, yeah, no, no. What the church has done? <laughs> what the church has done? I was doing this church. What the church has done that we have combined to mm -hmm. the customary. Okay. You know, each one is uh, this one, this one. Yeah. That's why the moment you marry an customary, you can register it. Yeah. Yeah. And the moment you move up to ordinance, we've cancelled the customary. Oh, okay. Yes, we don't need to do uh, customer before the ordinance. No, okay. that's why the ordinance. You can any mature person mm -hmm. can just work. You don't even need your parents to be there. Okay. You just need a witness, yeah. somebody to witness your marriage. Yeah. That's why to the people you marrying daughters and the rest. All we do, we need <laughs> you are old enough. That's all. Okay. Come yeah. and come with a witness. Yeah. You don't even need your parents. Okay. Two people can just, can just work and write and marry and uh, but we the child we've done it because we believe we have come from environment yeah. culture. So we have combined the two: the customary and the ordinance. To protect because the ordinance at least time from the Bible and let the cross of one man, one wife. So if combined the two, but church don't have marriage. Thank please. you. Uh, Thank you. Establish please uh hammer on the masturbation place and how do you advise? Yeah, so you see, like I said, all this is out in the mind. For everything you do, like I said, so with the mind, like I said, the mind cut across. He mentioned psychological mm -hmm. now. I mentioned the four levels. Mm -hmm. So every condition mm -hmm. it can be you can look from a spiritual perspective, mm -hmm. psychological perspective, medical and whole sociological. You understand? So can it can even be one of the kind of friends and activities he does. He loves me be watching pornographic materials and the, this is what so anytime you watch it, you have to go and perform it. So you need to now look at social aspects. What are the things that you are interacting with? Mm. So if you have pornographic materials on your phone, you need to start deleting all of them. Okay. So with every condition from where I sit, mm. you need to look at it from this all levels. If you can't help people. Mm. So but to see where we have now is that we are fighting among ourselves. When the person is looking at spiritual, he's looking at medical, yeah. and we want to prove ourselves. No, yeah. the mind Cut across. Okay. So with every condition, you if you want to help somebody, check the four levels. Okay. You understand? So I'm so I'm surprised upon this agreement. My brother also mentioned only two and leave that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the, the reason why I didn't mention or I know you tackled that. So and okay. we we yeah, yeah, need, you know you what? Know, yeah. yeah. right. yes, there are some people all you need to do is even yeah. just move them. That's why you yeah. want to break addition. Yeah. The first thing to tell the person move out of the environment. The environment. Right, yeah, you look at sociology sociology. Any advice to couples going through Oh wait, 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 wait. Couples, what I'll tell them is that like I said, lack of knowledge might be So they will so we are anxious, sure, we are depressed, is that we are lacking certain knowledge. Okay. Therefore, we need to seek for proper counseling. Right. Yeah, and if you need counseling, to you don't just follow me on all the social media platforms. The name is Apostle Thomas Christi up here mm -hmm. on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Apostle Thomas Christi up here. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's awesome. let's meet today. Awesome. Hey, sorry. Uh, doctor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll change your position. <laughs> uh, yes, what I'll say is that uh, infertility is real. Mm -hmm. 
and it doesn't start when you start experiencing but it starts when you've not even experienced it at all so as a young lady as a young man please knows that there are days ahead of you that you'll be battling with certain things that you may not understand and one of them may be infertility mm -hmm. so the activities that you are running from food to friends to where you sleep and the job you are doing and everything about your life be serious about it because one when the kind of food you consume you consume it late and everything it will affect you and if a man 24 we don't have rest it's not going to affect you so please Fertility doesn't start from when you are getting to 25 to 30 when you didn't expect to have fertility. It starts from right from day one when you recognize that you are a man or you are a woman. You work towards it before you get to your uh, whether 20 or 30. So uh, you can also contact in city herbal clinic. Uh, we are at Medina Race Junction, just opposite uh, between the Glory Oil and then the EP chair. You can contact me on 054 uh, 054. 80610 in city we are also on the google map we are also on the uh facebook okay. for now okay all right also you didn't mention your number oh, oh let's meet on okay with that all right no we don't we see social media we can chat we can so let's meet on all right thank you very much so this amazing man were here to support us discuss a very interesting conversation about infertility in marriage uh, Reverend Kusi Apia happens to be uh, a counselor, he's a church leader, he's an economist, he's a security analyst. Put Everton put together. <laughs> and he was here to grace us with that conversation. Of course, Dr. Jikuno also operates with in City Herbal Clinic at Madina. He gave you the information earlier. So thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. You appreciate thank your time you. and all. Uh, we we'll wrap up uh, the segment for today. And then coming up is JK. Is going to be seated on Health Entertainment. Have a conversation with the man Kwame Zagi. So stick around for that. There's more right here on HSTV. We'll be right back. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Andrew Akutu. I'm the managing director of Lashibi Funeral Homes. Lashibi Funeral Homes was established to provide modern, state of the art, and comprehensive funeral services. If a family lost a loved one, everything became a do it yourself affair. But Lashibi Funeral Homes was established so that everything that has to do with the funeral from the time a person dies until they are buried, can all be done and made available in one place. And at all time, to emphasize the importance of treating the body of the deceased with the utmost respect and dignity. Lashibi Funeral Homes provides any and all services that have to do with funerals. Lashibi Funeral Homes will recover the body from wherever the death occurred, embalm the body using the most modern techniques. We will keep the body or store the body in our state-of-the-art refrigeration system for as long as the family desires. Nearer the time of the funeral, we will prepare and dress the body up for the funeral. We provide transportation, namely ambulances and hearses, to convey the body from one place to the other as the family may wish. We also provide on our premises the services of an interdenominational chapel where the services can be conducted. We also have the only modern crematory in Ghana at the moment which services not only Ghana but also Côte d'Ivoire. We also have a cemetery, one of the only two privately managed cemeteries in Accra at the moment. All it takes, literally, is one telephone call and perhaps two visits to our premises for everything to do with the funeral to be arranged for you. There are several funeral plans on the market. Most of them are based on the premise that when the insured person passes away, the insurance company 
will pay an agreed sum of money to the bereaved family. Often enough, the sum paid to the family may not be sufficient to cover the basic needs the family requires. That is where the Prudential Dignity Plan comes into its own and is significantly different because what the Prudential Dignity Plan ensures are the services that would be required so that it does not matter whether five years or ten years after the insurance was taken, those services will be provided regardless of the fact that the costs may have gone up. Once you are insured, your services are covered. It doesn't matter how long before the death occurs. Dignity Farewell Plan from Prudential Life Insurance in partnership with Lashibi Funeral Homes is providing families with over a decade of experience and peace of mind when it comes to saying goodbye to your loved ones. Would you like to own a home, start a business, provide seed money, or a good education for your children? The Pro Wealth Plan answers all of life's questions. This is Equa Nai. She wants to be an engineer in future. Her parents, Mr. and Mrs. Hammond, plan to give her the best education but don't want to be unnecessarily burdened when she's ready for university in 10 years. Do you know how much it will cost Equa to go to a local private university or university abroad in the next 10 years? Equa's parents have signed up to a Pro Wealth plan. They pay affordable monthly premiums that ensures they are able to fund Equa's university fees and living expenses. When she's ready for university, Prudential will pay the maturity benefit and her parents can enjoy free insurance cover for an additional five years. In the unfortunate event that her parents pass away, Prudential will pay over 200% of the sum assured, which is 100% immediately. 10% annually to keep Ikwa in her current school and 100% at maturity for her chosen university. This means that Prudential Life has guaranteed Ikwa's education regardless of life's uncertainties. The Pro Wealth Plan also covers a spouse or partner up to the same sum assured. With over 26 million customers, 24,000 employees globally, and over 170 years experience, you and your family can have peace of mind knowing that you are in safe hands. Whatever your financial goals are, the Pro Wealth Plan has the answers to life's questions. Call us today and let Prudential secure your future. <laughs> Yeah, Zaggy. Mr. Kumi Ben Kuwai. Right. Right. Now, fuck a task, you boys, you wanna. Who we are, my men, say, fuck a cafe, pal, me so. Now, no question. Now, men, come on, say, you. When you first are in the bank, I said, I couldn't win a diet today. So, why would you pop a chess and so the hour be on some other? Then I'm missing the enemy, who need to like it to be so drama soon. You did the Astra year for the Subasa, and you have your own summer, and eh. That you may have a two year, and you have your two, so now what you have was three. Who now you can't now, fa? Who now you go to a fa? Who now you can't now, fa? Who now you go to a fa? Who been to swear your high life, fa? Who been to swear your high life, fa? Who been to swear your Martin Luther, fa? Who been to swear your Queen Elizabeth, fa? I am a son of Robin, I am a son of Robin. Yeah, 
Healthy morning is still on right here on HSTV. JK, I'm seated. We're going straight into the world of entertainment. You know, we're stepping into the weekend, so we need to calm ourselves and all that. So we have in the studios today Kwame Zagi. He is the he's in he's on my seat. We're going to talk to him. But before I do that, I went on his page and I saw a caption which you know really caught my attention. He made mention he said music a music mind never rests because every activity is a melody. Kwame. This is coming from you. Yeah. Good morning, you're welcome. Thank you. I think I've been following when you post uh, things out there, the captions you give to them, you know, the inspirations behind them. You, you talk really deep. Uh, yeah. it's, it's quite amazing. Uh, we are humbled having you today on the show, too. Thank you. Nice it's my one. pleasure. Nice one. Yeah. I hope everything is cool. Everything is fantastic. Great. Yeah. So, you know, before we came on set, I was talking about just the two of us. Yeah. That was, I think that's the song I, I remembered. When my producer sent, you know, the flyer saying Kwame was coming, I just had to go check out. I was like, okay, so he's the one behind the song. Yeah, man. It, it's been amazing. Let, let's run through your journey. How many years in the industry now? Um, um, we, we surfaced uh, around 2010. Okay. That's when I, I brought my debut mm -hmm. um, album with the Yanko Tom. So it's been like a decade and two. Nice one. Um, so like maybe I can say 12 years now. 12 of course, years. 2010 and 2022. Yeah. When you put them together, it's like a 12 years. A 12 years. Nice yeah. One. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's how long we've been around. You've been yeah. in the system. Yeah. And you're doing well. Your, your music is still making waves when we go on social media or uh, let me say the music platforms. We see all these songs and we're, we're really appreciating it and all that. So, Ten, let's say 12 years in the music scene now. Yeah. Let's talk about some challenges you face. I know you've had some ups and downs. You know yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, um, coming up as as uh, as an artist who um, doesn't belong to a bigger record label, mm -hmm. you know, there are challenges that, you know, pertain to that. And um, let me see... Um, it, it, it's been rough and, and, and smooth with it. You know, when we coming in, um, we didn't understand the business and how to go about it. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we faced a couple of challenges. Um, yeah, challenges. But then uh, growing in it uh, gives you um, a broader, uh, I mean, understanding. Mm -hmm and then knowing your way through so it becomes like you know part of growth even the challenges that we used to see as a bigger challenges um it's it has now become like part of growth part of growth nice yeah. one that's really amazing so uh, you, you you know in 2012 2013 there are about i think you bounced back i know you lost your manager your financier someone who was <coughs> really investing in your craft everything yeah how was it for you then that time when you, when you lost your manager yeah it was it was such a big blow mm -hmm. I, I never experienced before and it, it's something that really pushed me back mm -hmm. yeah because i mean i came in from nowhere yeah. you know he was i mean maneuvering me through um all the sectors yeah. and then all of a sudden it goes off. It, yeah, it goes off. So uh, I I became stuck in the middle, you know, because at that time I was just almost getting to the top, mm -hmm. and then it happened. So it was something that I didn't know where I didn't like I didn't have the connect, connect to just to continue. Uh, so it was something that you know it really pushed me back. Yeah. So yeah. I had to start all over again okay. and crawl, build my connect, mm -hmm. and start 
relating to people and then get my way through and we're here nice one you know that brings me to the question we know anytime we have artists who are signed on record labels and most of the time they feel, most time they feel relaxed they don't do anything and we have the managers and the record label doing everything for them and you know it gets to a point where they want to go solo they want to go independent and you know they really struggle to pick up again do you think you being on a record label you not doing anything you know having the record label doing everything for you you know, made it quite uh, difficult for you when you were alone, when you lost your manager. Do, would, you, would you say that that was a factor? Yes, it, it would, would be. You know, out there, every every artist, you know, belong to a certain label. Yeah, okay. Because definitely you're an artist. You can do all alone by yourself. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So definitely you, you need a, a bigger label. There are a whole lot of things. It, it, it is... It is our sector that a lot of things that doesn't really um, work for musicians. Mm -hmm. That now you see a lot of musicians trying to do everything by themselves, Self. trying to be their own executive producers, going to the studio and then to try to, I mean, find ways mm -hmm. to, I mean, I mean, Put things uh, together. push their, their craft. But I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't cut you. Don't you think it's, it's a plus when you, as an artist, you're able to, you know, maneuver your way through. You know the business side of music. So in case anything happens in the future, you would be able to stand in. Yes, if left with me alone, I would say every musician mm -hmm. should be able to, f I mean, finance his or her own career. Okay. Because um, when you are under a record label. Uh, let me use myself as an okay. example. You know, when I was coming, I had this record label, and then everything was done by them. The record label. I would be at home, and then my video is being played on mm -hmm. on air. My, my my music is on radio and stuff. I will coming on an interview. They will just bring closer for me to choose Should which one to wear. wear and all that, and all not from my pocket, mm -hmm. right? So I was getting all those privileges. And then, all of a sudden, everything cut off. It, it, it ceased. Mm -hmm. So, how am I going to start? So, every musician that is on the record label, that the record label does basically everything for them. When the record label is not there anymore, the be people, shaky. those people struggle a lot. That's why we see if uh, a musician parts ways um, with a record uh, label, yeah. you see them struggling, mm -hmm. and they don't, they don't shoot out or mm -hmm. they get a stronger hand. Okay. Yes. So that's how it is. So leaving the record label, it, it quite affects, let's say, the artist if you're not able to stand in for yourself. Yes. If if you're not. I mean, financially strong mm -hmm. that you can finance or you can use to push your stuff mm -hmm. because, you know, music business, um, you have to have back it with money. Money, exactly. Yes, it is a money making. It it, it is gold, mm -hmm. but you have to push it with money. Nice. Without money, you can. You can make lack it. alone can 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 do this job. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. so you need to be strong in very uh, You know, we are we are saying all these things to encourage people watching young and upcoming ads, you know, so they know how to go about things. So during that period when you lost your manager, now you're off the record label. How were you able to finance yourself? You know, bouncing back into the game. Yeah, it was it was it was such a difficult time mm -hmm. for me. That period, I I I, I call it. Um, <laughs> Uh, a trial period. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I mean uh, what's what was was really difficult. Mm -hmm. It was really difficult. Trust me, because at that time, um, uh, I thought the music would do everything, everything for me. For so my focus and everything was on the music. Exactly. I wasn't doing any business aside. Mm -hmm. I was just focusing every day in studio and stuff. So I was just stuck like that. Yeah, just that. Uh, but you know, on the record label, you had to. You had a female also on the record label who yes. was doing gospel. Yes. Didn't you have a point where you wanted to go like, okay, I'm going to do gospel? Music. No, 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 no. See, at, I, you know, live uh, stages. Yeah. You from one stage and you get to another one, and you get to another one, and you get to another one. Sometimes I I felt that you know, when you are not winning, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, you hear a lot of words. Exactly. When you are not winning, mm -hmm. a lot of people will tell you what to do. Yeah. 
thinking that oh, that is right. That is the best option, yeah. Right. So there were a lot of people trying to tell me, no, Charlie, that's in there. Charlie, you should stop the do gospel. You know, God wants you to do this. God wants you to do that. So, like he was hearing a lot of voices. Mm -hmm. So at a point, I decided that God, <laughs> Charlie, that's in there. You know where my passion lies. Yeah. Now let's try and do gospel. Mm -hmm. Right, thinking that that is, work. but I try going that sector, but. No, I realized that no, that's the where my calling is. Your calling is. But I know you don't believe in the Bible. <laughs> Why are you saying that? Yeah, because you you, you 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 clearly stated that when you when you follow what was in the word of God, Charlie, it, it looks like your life is too No, but I, I never said that. But mm -hmm. what I said is uh there are a lot of contradictions in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So when you're trying to use it I mean, because uh, in life, there are, there are basic things that you just have to apply. Mm -hmm. Work okay. and then eat. Work and eat. Yes, work before you eat. Mm -hmm. If you are not working, you can't eat. It is not about the Bible. Mm -hmm. Don't go and steal. If you steal and you are caught, either you are either going to be killed or maybe going to be jailed. Mm -hmm. Don't do those things. There are basic things that you have to do in life. Don't rely on the Bible. If the Bible is just a book, mm -hmm. right? Don't rely on it to. There are certain things you just have to know. Somebody's wife, don't go and chase. Mm -hmm. I mean, be in your lane and just do it. And this is life. I don't want us to argue. <laughs> <laughs> this is what with that. So now let's let's come back to you bouncing back into the industry. I know the uh, Mr. Lover EP, EP yeah. was you bouncing back and everything. Yeah. Let's talk about fan base. Comparing when you came in back in 2010 and you bouncing back with that EP, how was the response for you? Yeah, you know, when, when we came in, um, let's say 10 years ago, social media wasn't that strong mm -hmm. as it is now. Okay. Yeah, so we couldn't even see who follow us, who is liking our vibe and who is contributing to whatsoever, whatever we're mm -hmm. doing. Right. Yeah. But now we can say that I have 10,000 people liking my vibe. vibe I can yeah. say maybe I have this number of people that I know they are there when I post something they're gonna see they're like it yeah. right mm -hmm. so coming back at this time around and the, the response to my vibe the new especially the, the new single that Galam C song mm -hmm. oh, it's amazing it's amazing it's amazing and it's like yo mm -hmm. yo I mean you, you could see that People really miss me and they, they really want me back in the game. Nice yeah. one. And I know you're doing high life and you may mention that not everybody can do high life. Looking at the current setting now, you know, the Afro beats, the Afro pop, aren't you pressured to switch from high life to do that? You see, I, to me, I, 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 I think um, with the high life, kind of conversation we we need to have a, a, a an education mm -hmm. about it to understand what really is her life and who is doing her life and who is not doing her life okay. let's, yeah, let, let, let's touch on it <laughs> what is her life <laughs> i, I want to you know let's break it down for people to understand you, you know mm -hmm. um i can't say much about that but um what i can say is um you know we're Ghanaian okay. and our music is <clears throat> Our, our music we all know our music yeah because we grow with it mm -hmm. we, it's it's in our blood mm -hmm. so we can easily identify that this is her life her music life. Okay. growing up we we we're fortunate to listen to great her life music the likes of the late um um uh, papa Janssen, uh, ab Crento, and and so on and so on so we grow with their music mm -hmm. Right, so we can easily say her life. No, but but time has um, changed. But um, a lot of tones has been introduced. Okay. Unlike the one we used to use way okay. back. Mm -hmm. Now a lot of things, uh, element has been modified. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So even if you are playing the same melody mm -hmm. or the same yam ponsa. There are a lot of adages and stuff like makes it more than to suit our our, our kind of generation. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So I think that is um, that fusion is now called Afro pop. But me, to me, 
listening to them, I see no different from our high life music. Life. It's still the same. It's still the same. The melody, the groove, and everything is is still the same. Maybe they sing in English. Mm -hmm. That makes it Afro. Afro. <laughs> okay. So and you you know you mentioned again that not everybody can do high life music. But now you are saying listening to all these songs, the sound, the tune, and everything, you feel this is the same spirit. Okay. So who is in high, who is a high life? Okay. Artist? Okay. Okay. Let me let me put let me put it this way. In, 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 over here, mm -hmm. um, that is to me me listening to those songs yeah. i know it's high life okay. i feel it's high life because of the elements that it's in it okay okay so um this is it high life music is deep okay yes you you you, you need to you need to be deep mm -hmm. before you can do high life music okay right um me saying no everybody can do high life <laughs> I don't want to say those that are doing her life or those that are doing Afro pop are not deep. No. Mm. Calling it a high life, that's the problem right problem now. For you. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So the songs most of them are doing, I will classify them her life. Mm -hmm. But they are not classifying it as her life. life. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's <laughs> not everybody who can do it. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Quite, so you, you should be deep before you would be able of course. to do high life music. Of course, nice one. So moving away from that, let's let's talk about you in the scene now. Mr. Lover Boy came in, like the Lover Boy, the Lover, the Lover and uh, yeah, EP, EP. Sorry, yeah. And you were saying the response has been great. People yeah. missing you, getting the numbers and all that. Yeah. So what's in the pipeline again aside that EP? Okay, um, EP was just an introduction. Mm -hmm. um, for me to, I mean, bounce back again, mm -hmm. but I still have an album. Okay, that's the second album. Okay, um, the EP is about um, has six songs, okay. so almost almost an an album. album so yeah. I'm still in the studio, mm -hmm. um, working with um, another um, set of music out. Okay. Yes, so um, I'm promoting the EP now. Okay. Yes, and so um, I have a couple of activities that I mean are coming up, and even tonight, I'm playing at a um, flip bar. Okay. Osu. A live band. Live band. Okay. Yes, um, I'm just playing the Mr. Lover EP unplug, mm -hmm. and it's going to be something I mean else. So there are lots of activities coming around um, the Mr. Lover EP. Sure. So yeah. I still want us to touch on marketing. How how appear? How do people get to you? Maybe when you want to listen to your song, where do we go to your social media platform? Forms, yes, right now, I mean, everything uh, has been digitalized. Mm -hmm. And so I'm on all the platforms, digital um, platforms. So you can find me on iTunes, you can find me on um, Apple Music, um, YouTube, um, Spotify, um, Boomplay, all the digital yeah. platforms. So yes, type Kwame Zagi. Mm -hmm. Lots of my songs will pop up. And also on social media, um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and the TikTok, and every, everywhere. So, everywhere. Yeah, I'm very active on social media as well. Making so, music. yes, just a message and we are there. Yeah, that's a goal. Yeah. Nice. What, what's, what's your relation with Kumikita? Are you so cool? <laughs> that guy. Uh, I mean, he did in some way. We meet to a demo somewhere. Has he still not apologized to you for what you did? Oh, no. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Uh, everybody, they do their own thing. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we all, we did. You did? Yeah. What he I don't out. get any issue with anybody. So when he reached out to you that he wants a collaboration, I went to jail. Why not? I We're you. musicians. So you wouldn't make No, care. no, no, no. See, you don't, you don't, you don't mix um, business with pleasure, right? Okay. You know your set your segment. I mean, like your emotions. Emotions. Yeah. yeah. You don't you don't miss business with that. When it's business, when it's good, and it's going to benefit the both of us. Why not? Mm -hmm. We should let it happen, right? So even as we we he did something and I I I didn't like mm -hmm. doesn't mean he's an enemy. Oh, okay. Yes, we're still business partners. Still so we can still when we have when there's a song that both of us can jump on of course we can we can work on just for the fans mm -hmm. and music is forever mm -hmm. so we both can eat 
you both can you both can eat let yes say. so we will be wrapping up very shortly so let's talk about the ghana music awards uh, what do you think about award schemes here in ghana <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Sometimes this this thing, <laughs> this question is something me. You know, I don't want to talk. I don't want to be talking about awards. You don't want to talk about awards. No, I I I I, I don't feel comfortable talking about awards. Mm. No, yeah. You think they've not been fair to you in your stay in there? No, no, no. I I I I, I wouldn't say that. If you are saying, mm -hmm. then then that's fine. Oh no, no. From you, <laughs> you should be able to tell me because you've released heads upon heads and your features and collaboration and everything. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. But you they've know, not been fair to you. Kwame Zag, you are saying, you are saying Ghana, that. Ghana, are been, you saying? No, I'm. At, you're asking me. <laughs> you, are, you, are, you are trying to be to about answering the question, but we want to still push on that. Mm -hmm. Why is it that you don't care about the awards? Yeah, not that I don't care. I care about it. You know. So what do you care? What uh, exactly do you care about the awards? What I oh yeah, yeah it's 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 Ghana Music Awards. Mm -hmm. That's the only um, prestigious awards that we have here. And that is what I mean. We all look up to. Every musician mm -hmm. wish to have uh, an, award. an award from VJM. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I, that's what I care about. In relation to you and your music. In my music. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, eh? Mm -hmm. I am not the award award kind of artist okay. that I I produce okay. to aim at. No, Definitely. this year this my song should win an award. Okay. So I challenge all I channel all my energy towards that. Mm -hmm. I am working, I am a musician. Music is a lifetime business. Okay. Okay. Right. So if it doesn't happen maybe this year, mm -hmm. maybe in the next future I'm I'm gonna win the artist of okay. the year. That's why I don't talk about it, whether mm -hmm. bad or okay. good. Let okay. it keep it as it is. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And keep doing the would, would your assessments about those who have won it so far be relatively okay you think it's they deserve. they deserve what they've won so far okay even if you don't go too far the recent one you think those who, who okay okay what i can say is mm. i'm a musician i'm not a critic okay so <laughs> <laughs> i'm only a musician you know like i'm an artist mm -hmm. so if something i only preach Mm -hmm. about when something is not right in my sector mm -hmm. um when the country is not going uh, the way we think it's supposed to go mm -hmm. i'm a musician i have a mouthpiece i can say about it okay. but i don't criticize my fellow musicians what they deserve to do and what they don't deserve not, not necessarily you criticizing but sometimes you know we can have someone win and go like oh bro where do you deserve it or say a demand of course uh, they they know better yeah. they they have bought they have, uh, <laughs> they have, yeah. they, they have, they know what they are doing. Mm -hmm. So they decide before they give award to any artist. Yeah. They have sat down, analyzed, did mm -hmm. that whatsoever. They've done all their checks and they know that the person deserves yeah, okay. whatever that you say doesn't come in. Yeah. Okay. Right. So yeah. if I say, um, Kofi Mensa, that was, I mean doesn't deserve he, he was not supposed to win this and this that and that okay. anyway right. in your earlier conversations you mentioned the fact that uh, when you entered into the music scene you thought it was all about the music mm -hmm. but until you lost your manager or uh, management you realized that you have to diversify and find other things what is coming is that you doing besides music now um i do a couple of i mean business i mean buy and sell buy and sell <laughs> yeah buy and sell buy and sell kind of this is just to i mean put that stuff okay. and it's it is really going well okay. so it's, yes. so it's helping you exactly okay. exactly yeah right. okay that's awesome. yeah. great i think after right. the show i'm going to take your 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 your, your talk because i'm serious <laughs> <research. Yeah. laughs> so we're finally wrapping up do you have yeah. anything to tell your fans your family your friends watching now yes um i want to say a very big thank you for I mean, being with me all this while it's been a very good journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then and coming back again, the reception is amazing. Um, tonight, uh, I want to see all my friends and families at Flip Bar Osu. We jamming Mr. Lover EP Unplug, live band settings. Come through and let's 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 have fun. It's Friday actually, and it's month end. Yeah, uh, what up? 
Eh, omo omo cash Yes. Um Facebook Kwame Zagi, um Twitter Kwame Zagi, now the one account. Um, um, um Instagram Kwame Zagi underscore and TikTok Kwame Zagi. Everywhere I'm I'm active. Okay, yeah, so just a message and we are there. Awesome. Awesome. We're really humbled right. having you on the show today. Sure. Keep the fun burning. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's my pleasure as well to be here. Yeah. 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 All right. So, viewers, this is where we wrap it all up. It's been an amazing week.